should start talking to even in school if the girls and boys understand that they are humans and they are supposed to have equal rights and opportunities because they are both humans nobody is better than the other mm. you know that would work they can correct their parents if their parents start to do some funny things mm. so i think that it should start from the children because children are very they are very strong they are powerful change agents very mm -hmm. powerful so if they have a good mindset about these things they can begin to correct it and gradually from generation to generation it's going to get better okay so i understand there's a program coming up and i would like you to come of the girl of the idg and that was that's about the voice my voice our equal future so we're working on a pro with um girls in eight african countries for two weeks now and the girls have been sending in their videos Okay. Uh, they are using their voice. We are teaching girls to use their voices to become change agents. Mm. So they get a particular um, problem or a challenge that girls are facing in their communities in those parts of the world, um, Africa, and then send to us, and they are going to propose a, a solution. Okay. So far, we have gotten wonderful um, solutions, and we are going to pick one um, person as a winner. Okay. However, we'll pick five other girls to work with. So they are going to be um, carrying out this intervention, their solutions in their particular communities to take care of the girls, the challenges that girls are facing. Mm. So that's that's what we are doing presently. Okay, so this is address. Okay. First off, there's one who talked about um, leadership. She noticed she said that she notices that girls in her school um, do not know how to take up leadership positions. Mm. They would rather sit back and wait for the boys to do it while they assist or whatever. So she was talking about um, doing a reach out uh, to girls in secondary school within her community. There was another lady in, um, I think Uganda or Zimbabwe, who said that she used to use her mom's um, clothes for menstruation when she was younger. Mm. She's about 21 now, but when she was a teenager, that's what she did. And that's what many girls right now, they still do it in mm. her community. So she, she was proposing um, reusable parts. We already got a partner in Ghana who will be um, making reason parts for us okay. to send to those girls in I think I don't remember if she says Zimbabwe or Uganda mm. but we're we already working on that mm. so another one talked about uh, she said um, education of the girl child and water clean water that's actually one of the um, sustainable development goals clean water and sanitation mm. she says that girls are more affected in our area because they have to leave school and go and fetch water the boys would have gone to school early Mm. Why the girls have to be the ones to provide water for the family. Mm. So that's also, I don't know how we're going to do clean water sanitation, but I don't know, but we'll probably work with their government over there to, you know, do something about it. Mm. So a couple of things like that. All right. So um, it's good to have you um, in this place this afternoon. But first of all, I would like to know what exactly Grazi, Grazilia Initiative is all about. Okay, the Grazilia Initiative is um, a not-for-profit culture initiative for women and girls. Girls are basically, we take care of girls' education and <clears throat> we also help to provide uh, opportunities, employment opportunities for girls and women. So we link them up with um, organizations that can help us to train them in a particular skill for three months for free. And um, after three months, the girls can become bosses of their own. Mm -hmm. All right. Looking at the situation of things when it has to do with the girl child and what your organization is doing, I understand the fact that um, there is um, a little to scholarship receipts and all of that. Looking at the state of things when it has to do with education of the girl child in Nigeria, I would just like you to give an overview of what you think about um, the girl child um, you know, uh, education in Nigeria. Yes, uh, I would say that it's quite poor Okay. from um, research and from my observation, especially in um, parts of the north. Several parts of Personally, I know several people that would rather not send their girl child because they believe that um, it's not so important, you know, because because she's going to end up, you know, being somebody's in the kitchen, wife, somebody's somebody's wife, kitchen wife, yeah, and all that mm. stuff. So, yeah, it's very poor. Girl child education is very, very poor.